Hotspot Thai Cafe to pick up our dinner. I am very excited as we have not eaten here before, but this is going to be a treat. Hi, I just came to place an order for pickup and I was wondering, do you guys have like curbside where you could bring it out to the truck or the drive through window open by chance? Package has been delivered. Now back to Mount. We have arrived. All right, here we go. It's time for the uh, unboxing of the Hotspot Thai Cafe food. Check this out. Here's what you do: you take the box and you. It's like a sand. It's like a sand castle. It's like a a rice castle. And you gotta smash it down. Smash it down, and then, oh yeah, get that broth up in there. Dump the ginger chicken right on top. This is, this is more food than I could possibly, I mean, I could eat this, but I would not be happy with myself after the food. It does, doesn't even fit on the plate for Christ, Jesus. Woo, all right. So after you dump everything out, mix it up a little bit, and then you just, you nosh. You just, you just go right in. It's a little hot. Steaming steam your glasses. Steaming steam up the glasses. Woo! Hot. Very hot. But very delicious. Alright, what do we got here? Pad Thai shrimp. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. It's like never ending. It's like a bottomless bowl. Then of course the line. Maybe you can squeeze the line there. Yeah, see. Amazing. Very steamy. We'll give it a little taste. Just a little because I'm not trying to burn. No. Very good. And I will tell you, I am a connoisseur of the pad thai. I've had it in many places, and this is very good. Scale I one to ten. Eight. Eight out of ten, I'll take it. I added some spice to mine. Some people might like it sweeter, but I like the little zing, so. Next stop, Oaks Korean Kitchen. It's this tiny little spot right on the main strip here in Polson, right along the lake, and we're gonna go in, order some food, and have ourselves a nice dinner. Chicken, here's the shrimp. Looks amazing. Very excited. They were out of the spicy pork special. Kind of wanted to try that, but I'd love me some shrimp. Okay. Steaming. How's it taste? Really good. Very hot, which I love, and good quality shrimp. It's uh, sweet and tangy, I believe. Tastes pretty appropriate, but um, really good trend. I love edamame. Can't go wrong with edamame. Oh, this looks glorious. That, that was a good dumpling. It's like the right amount of crispiness, ton of flavor, a lot of veggies in there, chicken, oh, glorious. Time for the main course, the bulgogi, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. I don't speak Korean, but damn, this is a lot. There's a lot of food in here for $9. This is a deal that will fill you up a little bit of everything in here. Wow, that's really good. There's like a peanut sauce on it, 
yeah. is incredible. I think it's peanut sauce. I don't actually really know. I'm not gonna pretend like I really know, but it's delicious, and I'm gonna dominate this thing really fast. That's a wrap. That was so good. This place is amazing. The service is great, and you can tell they take a lot of pride in their work. On to the next one. Here we are outside of Glacier Brewing. It is this awesome brewery right here in downtown Polson. And we are here for some drinks and also the super gyro truck. Let's go check it out. All right, we got ourselves the Glacier Brewing beer. I got the Hefeweizen, Nicole got the seltzer, the blueberry seltzer. We're not gonna go too into detail about Glacier Brewery because there's gonna be another video coming up about them with some behind the scenes on the brewing process. So stay tuned for that. For now, cheers. First bite season. Grilled chicken. Salad. Tastes amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Taste. Sorry, thank you. Really well seasoned chicken. Yeah. I think it's been like on a kebab. Mmm, kebab chicken. It's mm -hmm. the best. That is a great combination. Better cheese and fries. Perfect. Here we got the super gyro special. Their authentic Greek gyro straight off the food truck. We are gonna give this a shot. Oh, glory. Amazing, and that tzatziki sauce is great. We are on our way to dinner. We arrived a little bit early. So before I show you the next place to eat, it's time for a bonus. We are at Woods Bay Wine, which is a wine tasting room right next to the restaurant that we're gonna eat at for dinner. So we're gonna go in and do a quick tasting. Can I drink this every night for the rest of my life? Just gotta up my wine budget a little bit. A lot of it. This would be like, if you could pick one off the shelf for me, this would be the one you'd pick for me. All right, here we are at one of, if not the greatest sit-down restaurant in the entire area. It is called Bonfire. Their menu is incredible. They always have a different, unique dish. You never know what to expect when you come here. They rotate the menu frequently, but it is honestly one of, if not my favorite place to go in the area. So let's go check it out. signature cocktails wherever I go because they're gonna come up with something different. So I'm looking at the Cat's Gin Fizz, which has Whistling Andy Pear Pink Peppercorn Gin, which is a local uh, distillery, with elderflower liqueur, always my favorite, lemon and soda, which I'll get some. Elderflower there. liqueur is always your favorite. <laughs> it's all Saint Germain, I love it. I love a little floral note, but not too much, otherwise it'll taste like soap. I am looking at the menu and I've decided that I want everything on it. I have a Montana margarita. What makes it a Montana margarita as opposed to a regular margarita? The huckleberry puree. Ooh. And the spotted bear agave, which Ooh. is probably local. If you were to rate that on a one out of the best margarita you've ever had, what would you call it? So I actually prefer a classic but in the fruit category of margaritas, it'd be rated pretty high. Okay, so they look phenomenal. I love a white wine sauce, so I'm really excited about that. I love mushrooms. I love the little sprigs of sprouts. They're bean sprouts. Bean sprouts, kind of thing of the word, on top. Oh, right. The mushrooms. Mushrooms are amazing. Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms are amazing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Extremely good. 
I feel really like good. I wish that's how all fried two can taste because it's not like heavy, like my stomach's gonna go into a coma. <laughs> So good. I think you're gonna cry. <laughs> I've never had gluten free fried chicken, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Lamb raccoon. Mm. 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 Egg noodles, gluten free, with amazing flavorful sauce. One call egg noodles. It's very good. It's very good. Uh, this is a first for my life. Smoked chicken gnocchi. I've never had it before. I'm gonna try to get some smoked chicken and some gnocchi all in one bite, and a little bit of this sauce, and there's some cheese and stuff. And those are mushrooms. It smells delicious. Mm. Hot or hot? She had a professor that came in. What do we think? Wow. The sauce tastes very similar to the sauce from the incredible mushrooms that we had as appetizers. The gnocchi is soft and delectable, and the smoked chicken has an incredible smoky flavor. And this is amazing. And I'm gonna devour this entire thing and you can go you can go away now. So goodbye. Alright, what is up? We are on our way to the last stop on this video, Burrito Brothers. I am stoked because it is lunchtime and I am hungry. Can I do one Highway 93 with chicken, hot avocado, and refried? And then, and then can I do uh, another Highway 93 burrito bowl uh, with chicken, chipotle habanero, and refried? What you got going on here? I got a burrito bowl, which looks amazing, completely amazing. And so they offer this option if you can't eat the burrito. And then they also do breakfast, which we have to try sometime. Um, and you can get gluten-free bread with the breakfast. This is the chicken. This is the beans. Some rice. Really good. Very, very good. Look at this guac. Very good. Burrito time, Highway 93, right before we go drive down Highway 93. This looks, this is a big old burrito. This is nice and chunky, how I like it. Ooh. Wow. It's really good. Got a little zing to it. Those beans are amazing. That, that right there is a good burrito. And we need to end this video so that I can eat it. So thank you for watching. We're gonna do a lot more places to eat around Flathead Lake and all the way up to Glacier National Park and Whitefish and more. So hit that subscribe button, follow along. We're doing the best things to do in Montana. So keep up with the journey. Peace.